What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to deploy your view application to HostGator. This will also work for a React app or pretty much any website or web application that you want to put on HostGator. We'll just run the build command, get the main index.html file and the assets, and then we'll put those on the server. I have a video where I bought a domain name and hosting account with HostGator. This could be thought of as a follow-up video to that, but it doesn't have to be. I'll put a link to that in the description in case you want to check that out. I also have a video where we build this entire site and then deploy it to Netlify. And I'll put a link to that video as well. So let's get into it. So this is the directory of my project, this Shred Flanders here. And so this is a view project. And to get the build production version, you can just do npm run build. This project was installed with the view CLI. So there's a warning that the Shred Flanders image might be a little too big and that could impact uh, the web performance, but that's not too bad, it should be okay. And it says the build is complete and that the dist directory is ready to be deployed. So when you run that, it makes the a dist folder where it has your index.html, your assets and such. And so what we'll do is compress that before we put it on HostGator. And then once we put it on HostGator, we'll extract that from the zip file. So I'll go to my code, go to our project, which is Shred Flanders. And we see this dist folder. So if you click in there, we see the index.html, everything we need. So I will compress this, and then that's what we'll put on HostGator. So if you log into HostGator, this is what you'll see. You can go to your file manager here, and then your public HTML, this is where your site will live. So this is a current old project that I had which I will remove. And then when you first sign up with HostGator, it'll give you the default index.html. And so that's what this is. And so what I did is make up, uh, and if we go back up the one level here, so what I did was I just made a backup folder and I put anything that was in this public HTML folder into that backup folder. So starting from scratch here, you would go to your public HTML. If there's anything in here, you can put it in a backup folder and we will upload that zip dist folder. Let's go to our project. Go back and there it is. So we'll select that and hit extract here. And yes, we'll extract that into this public HTML. And so this one we can remove, delete that and confirm. And so we want to put everything that's in this dist folder into this public HTML folder. So we can click into that, select these. I clicked one and then hold shift and click the other. You can also hit select all there. And then we can click this move button. And we'll go out of the dist and just go straight to the public HTML and then click move files here. If we go back up one level, back into the public HTML, we see it's here now. So if we go to the domain here, our site should be up and running already. Go to shredflanders.com here. And this is still the old app that I had up, so I may have to clear the cache. 
So I'll do Option Shift J, bring up the console, and then I'll right click on this reload button, hit empty cache and hard reload. And there it is. Oh yeah. So you may have an issue with React or Vue when you click to a different page. It'll take you there, but if you hit reload, you'll have an issue because now it tries to actually load shredflanders.com slash contact. And really, with the Vue or React app, you're just on the index.html file, essentially on the home page, and then everything else are just pages loaded up through JavaScript. And so you have to go to your HT access file on your server and put in a little snippet of code that makes sure that it always serves up the index.html folder. So in here, we do not see our HT access file and it may or may not be here because it's a hidden file. So you can go to settings here and then show hidden files, which are dot files. Any files with a dot in front of it is a hidden file. So we can click to show those and hit save. And now we see it. And if you still don't see it, you can just create a file. Just click new file and then dot ht access. I always double click it and it just downloads it. So you want to click once to select it and then you can hit edit here. So there's a couple things that I'm going to put in here. The first snippet of code is because we want it to always direct to the HTTPS version instead of HTTP. So it always serves up the secure version. And the other one was the original issue that I was referring to. And this happens when you use the view router with history mode. And we want to make sure that it always serves up the index.html file. And you can find these if you search for like HT access, you know, redirect to HTTPS, or if you search HT access, always serve index.html. If you don't want to just copy from this video here. So we'll go to save changes. And now I'll go back to the original home page. And then I'll go back to the contact page and I'll hit reload. And there we go. And that is how you put your website on HostGator. Hope that helps you out. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Check it, check it, check it.